Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to Chaos and Order, Art by Susan Holt. That's me! Tonight is May 17th, 2023. Just this over here. And uh, welcome to Zen's Day Wednesday Live! Thank you for being here with me. To those of you who are going to be watching in replay, go ahead and put hashtag replay down in the comments so I know you stopped by. Uh, I see a couple people are joining us. Hello, hello, welcome! Um, I do go back and I watch these after, I see, oh, I see Kelly is here and Kellen, uh, Karen is here and Patty Jo is here. Hello, everyone. Uh, I do go back and watch these uh, either tonight or tomorrow and I will comment back to you. If you have a question for me and you're watching in replay, go ahead and um, give me a little bit of context so I know what part of the video you're talking about. And uh, if somebody could give me some thumbs up or some hearts or a, a little comment down at the bottom so I know that I can see the comments tonight, that would be great. Anthony is here. Hello, hello. Uh, so that would be great if you could do that. Hubby is not home. He has a, a bit of a, a local conference this week. So he is not with me tonight. So it's just me winging it. So I hope you can hear me. <laughs> um, if I sound a little off today, it's because I have a cold. So please forgive me. Uh, tonight is going to be short, sweet, and to the point because I don't really have the energy to do much more than that. So tonight, even though I don't feel good, I am here for you. <laughs> And I'm excited to be with you tonight. I'm also excited because I last week worked on a big piece of art all week and I have it ready to show you. I'm very excited about that. That's coming up a little later. I've been posting the um, sneak peeks for the piece of art I'll show you later. Uh, S.E. is here. Hello, hello. So I will show you that piece a little bit later, but I want to get to, <coughs> excuse me, giving the monthly painting it's titled tonight so we had three suggestions and forgive me i did not write them down but they are in the poll that is posted uh, down below here the one that did win is called um balanced forces so i'm gonna show you the painting again Dun -da -da. this is our monthly painting so this one is balanced horses. I am so um, not with it this evening that I didn't even write the other two com um, potential titles down to tell you what they were, um, but but they're down in, in the other posts. So you can go ahead and go back and look for those. So this one will be um, titled on the back, signed and dated, and it will be ready to go next week. So you'll get first dibs on this piece next week. For the May monthly painting. Oh, I see Erica is here. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining me. So I'm going to put that down. And before we get to that uh, that other painting that I've been sneak peeking with you all week, uh, I did have a question submitted to me. So uh, I will do a little bit of Q and A. <coughs> Excuse me, right now. Uh, the question was, what jobs have you done other than being an artist? I see Tom is here. Hey, Tom. Welcome, welcome. Um, other than being an artist, I have, well, you know, when I was, when I was a teenager, when I was 13, my dad got a, a fancy camera and I took to it like a duck to water, took uh, black white photography classes. And um, when I was 13, I started selling my photo prints. Uh, I then transitioned over to when uh, doing color when his work group, his office, got together and did an annual golf tournament to raise um, funds for charity. They brought me in as the photographer. So I did those photos as well. And my dad, when he worked, was a civil engineer. So I have some really interesting photos of um, here in downtown Phoenix, the I-10, I-17 stack interchange. He worked on that, so I have some really neat photos of being up on the very highest ramp of that without the barricades 
and um, shooting down into the construction site of the heavy equipment and all that kind of stuff. Um, some of those got uh, blown up to larger sizes for the company that he was working for at that time. So I've really been selling art since I was 13. Um, after, after that, I, uh, I went to college um, for a little bit. And I was not ready for college at 18. I had to return to college in my 30s and finish up my degree then. Um, I came from behind with a like 2.3 GPA or something. It was ridiculously low. That's how bad I was at college the first time around. But I managed to pull it up and graduate cum laude. So I'm very proud of myself for that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But getting back to the jobs that I've done as well. Uh, when I was in my early 20s, I waited tables. I was okay at that, but I wasn't great at it. Um, uh, I have had social anxiety since I could remember, since I, which is about three. Um, so sometimes I would forget tables. Like I would have them, I knew they were my tables. I knew I had taken the order, but my brain would not for some reason allow me to go back to that table like it didn't even exist in my head so i was not great at that but i did it uh, after that i was <coughs> excuse me i was a receptionist for a while at um, a couple of different um, electrical manufacturing rep agencies so um, uh, companies would call us to get supplies for the uh, electricians that would come in and buy product from them. So I did that for a while. Um, I kind of moved into sales a little bit for that job. Well, Errol is here, hello, hello. Um, and then after that, I worked for, for a, um, a heat treating company here locally and uh, I, I got the paperwork ready to go for the drivers that would come in for their orders. So that was fast paced and a lot. Uh, and then I also worked for a company in human resources. I was low man on the totem pole. I was their, their clerk basically. So I did a lots of filing and all that kind of stuff. And um, then I had the opportunity to go back to college, so that's what I did. And ever since then, I have been uh, selling my art, and that is uh, a lot of the jobs that I have had in the past. That is pretty much all the jobs I've had in the past. Am I missing any? I don't think I'm missing any. So that is my background for work. Uh, most of the time it's been selling art, making art, um, and now it is my full-time career and I absolutely love it. So, thank you for that question. And I'm now going to move on to the painting that I've been giving you sneak peeks for, for, for the week. Um, this one, my bestie Jennifer came over um, a few days ago and we were talking about it and she, <laughs> I said something and she was like, oh, that's the title for it. So here we go. Back up for this one. This one is 12 inches by 36 inches. And I did a completely different design on it. I, the photo I took that I was looking at for reference was on a, a windy, blustery, <coughs> excuse me, um, rainy day here in the valley so that's kind of what i wanted to portray was the movement of that wind and i mentioned something about little wind sprites were dancing around on this one so she said yep that's the title and i said oh you are correct 100 percent so that is what i'm calling it um this painting it has a lot of movement, it has a lot of energy, and let me get it closer to you so you can kind of see what's going on. So I did all these little dots, and if you can see in the spirals, they get super tiny. I see Jennifer is here, hello, hello. But I wanted to show you some of this. 
up close because it's really cool. <coughs> Move it over here. This gray turned out absolutely beautifully over here in this corner. And Paula is here. Hello, hello. So yeah, lots to look at in this piece. Lots of flow, lots of motion. Lots going on. So if you want to bring some April showers, actually I think this was probably November showers <laughs> when I took the photo that it's based on. But if you, uh, uh, Paula is here. Hi, Paula. But if you want to have um, a painting that is inspired by a blustery day uh, with flowers and this was the, the desert scrub and cactus <coughs> down here at the bottom. And this is a good one for you. It is called Wind Sprites. It is uh, 12 inches by 36 inches. And the price on this one is $2,500. As usual, it comes with free shipping in the continental US. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting stuffy again for my cold. So. If you would like first dibs on this piece, go ahead and let me know. Just put first dibs, wind sprites in the comments and I will send you a quick message and we'll talk about how to get this piece to you. Put it up in your home so it is ready to go for the summer. Set it down over here. Okay. So I don't know if I can see the comments tonight. I don't see any come through. I haven't seen any little hearts and likes come through either. So I'm going to assume that I cannot see them. <coughs> Excuse me again. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up now. Next week we'll be doing first dibs on the monthly painting, which again is Balanced Forces. And so, um, and then I have some questions that I want to ask you next week. So it'll be uh, reverse Q&A. If you do have any questions for me, of course, you can always send them to me over in Messenger. and I'll be happy to answer them here uh, or over in Messenger, whatever your preference is. Um, if you would like a commission or a partner painting, go ahead and let me know. If you would like a painting out of my stock, go ahead and let me know that too. And we will jump on a Zoom or FaceTime call we'll talk about it. We'll get all the details worked out. And then I'd like to remind you, of course, of Zen's Day Wednesday Live next week. Um, we will be doing first dibs on the monthly painting and maybe some fun stuff. We'll see what happens next week. Um, but that is it for me tonight. Thank you so much for joining me right here on Zen's Day Wednesday Live on Chaos and Order Art by Susan Holt. I'm going to go take some more antihistamines for my nose, and I will see you next week. Bye, everyone.